Hello from Slovenia again. Today I will play a little bit with some house paint. This is just acrylic oil. Uh, it's a Slovenian product, and I will do a double dip <coughs> on this uh, four by four inch coasters, and I will just add a little bit of this. Uh, paint on just to cover it and uh, then I will use a blue mixture blue mixture it's again my mixture uh, I mixed my Bessner binder with Josonia uh, varnish and um, kind of a selectivator with uh, my pouring medium and see what will happen. Uh, I don't want too much of this kind of base paint, how can I say, just to cover my canvas, ah, canvas, my wooden board. So, and I will use some of these little piggy pigments. I will use Prechnite and some Rosé and this is Amsterdam bronze uh, and I will just add some paint in the middle like for oof, I wanted to do rose first and then bronze but now it is what it is uh, like for the moon pattern, but probably there will not be a moon because I have a base coat. When I do a moon pattern, I do it without a base. So let's see what will happen. And I will add some white and some black selectivator, blow this a little bit in the middle and then dip them together. So I'm not going for blooms. Okay. And now I will dip those two together and press and spread them apart and where my green went <laughs> I got some nice lacing like it air bubbles. Wow, I like this lacing. This look quite nice. So I will put this two aside. Am I even on frame? Maybe it's a little too too dark. We'll put those two aside and I will do another one and I will do a little different pattern just that we will have some different layerings of paints and we will see how it will look like at the end but I like what I see for now I just want to just kind of do this here wow maybe just enough 
of that green. So I will repeat this with the base. Really don't need a lot, so this is just something that you can do and you don't need a ton of paint and you don't lose a ton of paint. Uh, so this technique is really nice to try even if you are a beginner because you will definitely get some interesting design. But um, this technique doesn't work on canvases. It works on tiles or on MDF wooden boards because it has to be it, the canvas is too flexible and when you do that um, pressing part it doesn't you know create that much suction and then you don't get those really nice effects if you like those effects if you don't it's okay too wow I just love this so let's do maybe like that just uh, and I will blow this in that direction maybe I add a little too much of the paint we will see if you don't try you don't know <laughs> And a little bit of my white cell activator. This is not a little bit. <laughs> and a little bit of the black one. Okay. will happen with this one. Press them together to create suction. Cute too, but I really like the first two more. But there is some really cool effects and lacing and but I'm afraid that this base will eat some of my colors. We will see. So I will put this one aside too and I will do another two. To give you a little different um, three three variations of double dip today, I will repeat the process with adding paint on the board on the coaster. I just hope that. It will not eat all of my colors because it kind of looks a little weird. We will see how it will dry. But those piggies look just amazing, so soft and beautiful.
I like it more now, not completely happy with it, but I like it more. Just hope that this will not crack or I don't know. Wow. Beautiful lacing. With the beautiful one. So I decided that I will do just two bigger ones, two 8 by 8 Press them together, press, create suction, Oop. I didn't mean to do that, but I did, okay, Oop. it's hard, Oop. to correct one here but otherwise it's just gorgeous we'll just go with my palette knife like that dog and now I will just touch here to have more of a tree look wow this is so gorgeous stop me somebody stop me I just want to keep on going and going with this Wow, not so happy that this looks like this, but can't help it. Let's see. Everything is okay here. I just see if I can do something with this part that really doesn't look nice. Drag a little more like the other ones are. I think it's better now. Don't eat my paint, please. Wow. So let me take you down for a close-up. So we will start at the end. These are the last two of them. Well, sorry for the glare. Just amazing. Those details with this lacing and colors. This one is just gorgeous. A 
look at this detail here. I can already see the pigments. How they will look. So, and now, these are the first two that I did. You see that it changes a little bit. But I like how the pig is kind of melted into the background. And this is the second one that is just gorgeous. This is from our first dip. And this is the second two. They're gorgeous too. You see all these details. I will show you the dry result too. And these are the last three. You know, when I did it again, do you see a guy here or a lady with in the garden? I love it. I love this one. A beautiful lacing and beautiful colors. And another one. Oh my god, this is so gorgeous. I hope that it will dry okay. And another one. So, it can't be easier. You see this green lacing over here. It's just amazing. So, it can't be easier. <laughs> You can easily create a beautiful, beautiful painting. Just play with paint. And remember, if you don't try, you don't know. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. No! <laughs> Wait for the dry results. So here is a close-up. <coughs> I already put a coat of 3-art varnish. You can get your 3-art varnish on Fluid Art Co. And it's so shimmery and gorgeous, almost like resin. Or This is just one coat. And I hope that I will be able to show you the shimmer of the pig ears. Maybe you're under the light, I don't know. No. Yeah, a little bit. The shimmer is just gorgeous. So, let's start with those two. <clears throat> I love them. I really love how this uh, pig is melted and in the background and these are the 8x8 eight eight ones, the bigger ones. Just love, love, love the result. Do you see somebody here? I always see some faces in this tree kind of uh, pores, but they are so cool. See him? Like a skeleton or something. <laughs> and these two are gorgeous too. I, I didn't, I couldn't decide if I like those this way or the other way. I kind of like it this way too. And um, on this one I see somebody here too with some hidden face or something. But the lacing here and the 
the shimmer is just amazing maybe this one hope that you see wow love it I love all of them and I love the colors and I love everything Oop. about them uh, Flora Nera and I just have two of them just a second that are not varnished so maybe I can put it here to show you the difference you see or maybe here because they are more like those these are not varnished but you can still see a beautiful shimmer from piggies and those are varnished with tree art Try art, three art, three art, I don't know. I will put the link into the description box. These two are probably my favorite or the bigger ones. <laughs> I don't know. I just keep seeing this guy here. I don't know why I think that it's a guy, but I think it's a guy. And here I think it's a lady. <laughs> um... So, this technique is probably the easiest technique to create some really nice, interesting paintings. If you like trees like I do, you definitely have to try this. And I'm so happy that my house paint, not house paint, paint for the wood worked nice because it worked nice and it does create some lacing and I was afraid that it will eat too much of my colors but I really like how uh, the colors kind of melted in into the background and this black creates this three effect so I will say that it's a winner and you will probably see me do those again with some other colors of course but I like this soft color combination very much too so thanks for watching and see you again on Wednesday bye